Shalom, it's Mariah Aliza with Mariah Shelley Village and today I am shooting this video to share our Greek and Latin roots study journal, if you will. So put it together. I told you guys I'm the queen of like binding. <laughs> um, I just like to put everything at once, get a permanent bind and move on for the year. Okay, so I want to share my TPT resources and how I put this together. I compile this, but I do not create this. N none of the information in here is um, written by me. So this is just a complete compilation because, you know, me, I like to sequence the way that I like to sequence. Um, so the first TPT that I wanted to tell you about, or TPT download that I want to tell you about is I'm Loving Lit. And then she also has a blog, so I'm lovinglit.com. The creator is Erin Cobb. So I will drop that link in the description box below for you. And then I'll hold off on the second one um, later. But the I'm Loving Lit is the main download or the main file that I use in this. So if you click on the link um, that I'm going to supply for you, there are six units in the um, Greek and Latin roots by I'm Loving Lit. And so what I've done is I've just split that up over three years where we'll be studying Greek and Latin roots for our homeschool. So I start um, Greek and Latin roots in grade six. So we tend to do spelling and then vocabulary places spelling once they get to grade six. That's not like a hard and fast rule. I'm willing to do it earlier. I'm willing to do it later. That's just what happened with my oldest son. So it's six units. So unit one and two, we did in grade six. Units three and four, we're doing in grade seven. And then to end units five and six, we'll do in grade eight. I'm not sure how I'm loving lit um, has it arranged or organized but that's how I'm going to do it because this doesn't take all school years like 12 I believe weeks and so we do it right in the middle right in the crux of the school year so that we're not starting it at the beginning and it's done way before we get to the end so that's how I've done it my um, Greek and Latin root study last school year I used a another like um art page and so you'll see that a lot in some of the language and literature things that I put together I have like a sketch or an art page um, because my son likes to sketch and doodle and draw but it also breaks up um, a lot of the language because that could be taxing on the brain so let's maybe I'll do a different maybe I'll do a video where I show the difference between my grade six and my grade seven this one is a little bit more challenging in the way that I compiled it and I won't at the beginning is some other stuff so I'll get started so if um, in units 1 and 2 is lessons 1 through 12 and so a lesson takes a week that's why that's 12 weeks so then beginning in unit 3 you're gonna pick up with lesson 13 so it's the same repetition for the most part let me show you and I colored the opening pages. I'm actually going to show you lesson 14. So lesson 14 you see it's green um, because the green indicates a new week. Like, so this is lesson 14. It's the beginning of a new week. And so on this page they have the um, roots and the prefixes and then an example and the definition of what it means. Okay and so now the week will look like this. She has roots, prefixes, suffixes. A, they'll understand the word. Part B, they'll rewrite the definition. And then they'll do a crossword puzzle. Which word does not belong? I love that section. Synonym or antonym. Love that. Fill in the blank. True or false. Analogies. Which this, was, this wasn't this was here. In, um, well, maybe it was, but it, it didn't look like this. I think she increased um, the activity like making it more challenging then there's analogies and then it ends with like a little prefix um, box for them to put the correct prefix for um, the base the base word so that's how a week looks so he typically does like day one day two day three and then um, 
day four he ends the week is typically how that looks so what our art pages if you will look like this year which we didn't have this last year we just last year we had one art page at the back of the lesson to kind of seal the deal this year i have an art page per root slash prefix suffix um at the beginning to introduce it so and this is study all night and I, I like a lot of study all night things i think i shared her work when i did my othello post um, we did her Othello flip book, and then I know I shared her a lot of little sketch pages in my short stories and poetry journal. So here she goes again. Um, you can see here. And so Astro is the root, and so he will include all this information beforehand. And so this particular week, they're doing Astro for the root, and they're doing buy and try. For the prefix so he has all that there then he'll begin the like understand words rewrite definitions crossword puzzle all the stuff that I just went through so and then the series just continues to repeat lesson to lesson to lesson so lesson 15 a new root a new set of prefixes and suffixes he has um, the art page or the sketch page and then those series of activities for that lesson lesson 16 the same thing so this journal is complete with and here I'll show you one more it's complete with um, that green page being we're at a new lesson and then the art page in this case therm hyper and there's no more than three so that's therm and hyper there and then the lesson and then reset green page to start the week kind of introduce it and then he has the sketch pages then the lesson right and the only thing that i guess kind of changes is towards the end i do give him the test that she um, has towards the back of the unit. I add that in. I'm like, this is your end of year vocabulary exam or vocabulary test. He takes that. It's a summation or a comprehensive of everything um, that he's learned for the year. Well, in this 12 weeks, and then we're out of there. That seals up vocabulary. So I will put um, Aaron Cobb's link that actually has the Greek and Latin roots, and I will put. Um, Danielle Knight's link that has those art pages if you want to add that in there in the description box for you and then you print what you want you put it in the order you want it create you a um, cover page if you want go get it bound boom you got vocabulary for the year hope this video has been helpful to you if so please like share subscribe and I'll see you next time Shalom